Hi, today I'm working on my big train project. And we made some wheels last time. So let's use these wheels to make a big train to play with. And moms and dads, if you are like, I do not have the time to be making a big train for my kids, don't worry. You can just use a laundry basket and tape on those wheels to the side and there is your big train. So if you wanna spend more time on it, you can add some kid art to a box and we'll do that. But if you just need it to be fast and easy, definitely just tape some of your wheels onto a laundry basket and that will work out just fine. This is the kind of thing that we're gonna be making cars for our train. Choo-choo. So find a box and on the outside, you can glue some paper. If you have kid art, you could glue that right on. That would be awesome. I just, I don't have any great kid art, so I'm just using plain pieces of paper and then glue on those wheels. You can definitely draw some windows. or some sides to your car. And have your mom or dad go ahead and cut a hole in the front and in the back just for us to attach a rope later. So it just needs to have a small hole in both sides that your rope can fit right through. Um, if you have, can you grab it? You have big paper that your kiddo has painted on, done finger paint on, maybe some stamp art. You can use that big paper and just wrap your train box in it. And we'll create a really cool train to play. Once you've made your trains, you're ready to lay down your track. You can use masking tape, or if your floor is easy to wipe up, you could use chalk. Or if you're working outside with your kids, chalking out some lines on the sidewalk is a great place to play this game. Don't feel like you're in a rush when you're doing this project. The kids can help with making the track. Remember, pull, and then your child can pinch, pinch, tear your tape and push it down. Pull, pinch, pinch, tear. The process is more important than the product. Don't rush yourselves. This can take a few days to get this big train set up. Pull, pinch, pinch, tear. To play trains, I love to get dressed up putting on some nice gloves, just like the train engineer would. Do you have any overalls at your house? That would be fun when you play trains. We have our train. It's really great for kids to practice pulling heavy things. So don't worry about putting heavy things 
into their train using, um, it, especially if they're just pulling one box at a time, feeling it heavy really gets those big muscles working. Having three or two boxes gives a great opportunity to sort things. We can make one box just for stuffed animals. You can make one box just for food. I have some peanut butter I'm putting in my food box. And another box could be just for balls. Think of the categories you might have in your boxes. Here's an animal. It's going in my red animal box. Food. If you just have two, you could do categories like food and not food, or toy and not a toy, or shoes and not shoes. Whatever categories you'd like, fill them up. Here's another animal. I have a volleyball. That goes with the balls. Heavy flower. Here's another animal that's going for a ride. And some more balls. Okay, all aboard train. Let's go. around.